how great to see ya yo what is up there guys of the Wiz back at it again for a, another video with some pretty good kingdom heart stuff <laughs> right here right now so let's get right to it yo you know how much i love me and that kingdom hearts merchandise you know i got that kingdom hearts wallet looking fresh over here i got that kingdom hearts cheerity plushie over here also looking good i got them kingdom hearts uh sh whoa why is it the heck well, i don't know why it's all transparent but all right hey i got the boots over here i got the kingdom hearts underwear you know i'm crazy when it comes to anything kingdom hearts related now what we have with us today is something really really hype and it's probably something that's like basically mandatory to get if you're a gigantic kingdom hearts fan now i am a little bit late with this and uh, so apologies but what can i say there's been a lot going on over here we got amphibia returning <laughs> the owl house is coming back it's basically the summer of anime you know you got the god of high school looking absolutely absolutely fresh fire force season two looking heat decadence yo you guys better not be slacking on your anime telling you right now don't be the guy that's left out over here so of course you know back to the news itself so recently there was a little um tour of the good smile company the good smile company are basically people that are very heavy into anime they make statues they make figmas and they make those beautiful old good old nendroids over here now during their little facility tour some people happen to take notice and of course you know us, us, us kingdom hearts fans over here we got to pay attention to every single little detail around us <laughs> we basically grew up with that mindset over here so what some people happen to notice was that as they were doing the tour you know the guy was like hey as you can clearly see we have somebody here working on the eyes right now and if you look directly at the screen it's sora it's Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. Boy, are you telling me we're getting a Kingdom Hearts 3 Nendroid Sora? Oh my god, that's absolutely fresh over here. And you know, Nendroids are absolutely fantastic. For those of you that might not be too familiar with Nendroids, they're basically very expensive. Well, not really crazy expensive, but a bit more pricey and <laughs> very detailed, glorified Funko Pops. With Nendroids, uh, you know, we've had them already before uh, for Kingdom Hearts. We've got Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, we've got Kingdom Hearts 1 Riku, and we've got Mickey Mouse and they are absolutely fantastic they're fresh I love the accessories I love the details and I absolutely love how the Kingdom Hearts figures that we've gotten so far they're all posable because there's different types of Nendroids there are the posable ones and then they are the statue ones now the statue ones I mean like it's it, it's okay but if i wanted a statue i'd rather just you know buy a statue but what i mean is that like you cannot bend the arms you cannot bend the legs anything like that so a perfect example would of course be like this nendroid elsa that i have over here um the hands are just one single piece so all the poses are basically already done for you as composed to the beautiful articulated one like the sora that we have over here <laughs> your boy getting the royal treatment oh i absolutely love the articulation on the uh, Nendroids over here. So I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that if we're lucky, and I'm pretty sure we are, that like the Kingdom Hearts 3 Nendroid Sora will indeed be articulated as well. Because it's gonna be weird to go from articulated Kingdom Hearts 1 version to just a statue version of Kingdom Hearts 3, but I guess it all depends on how it looks when it comes to the figure, the aesthetics. Like, you know, do you wanna see the joints or would you rather have single hands? So, you know, in Good Smile Company would trust. Now we actually have another picture over here and I'm going to assume this is Sora as well. You can see three different faces. So I'm going to assume that Sora is gonna be coming with three different uh, face plates, which is okay, that's cool. That's basically how the Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora came with three faces. It came with like a smiling face, came with a sleeping face and came with a more serious face. So yo, oh, don't give Sora the spare face because oh, <laughs> that's gonna be too heartbreaking over here but I'm seeing that he's got other hands but it makes me wonder what kind of accessories will this Sora come with because as you know when it comes to Nendroids especially the Kingdom Hearts 1 oh the accessories are a beautiful thing and that's one of the great things that I should probably mention about Nendroids too is the whole compatibility that you have with other Nendroids like you know you can swap the faces with different body parts the arms like you can put different items from different characters yo Nendroids you can do so many crazy things with and that's why I absolutely love um Nendroids in general like I think I've posted a few pictures before of like Sora swapping it out with like um, Naruto and Elsa Yo, it could be a really wild time over here, but back to the accessories What could Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora come with? I mean obviously the Keyblade But I wonder which Keyblade is it gonna be the Kingdom Key Keyblade or are they gonna give us like the Starlight Keyblade? That I wouldn't actually mind because technically I already have Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora So I can just give the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Kingdom Hearts 1 <laughs> Sora's Keyblade Jesus uh, Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts 
cards. Is that all I ever talk about nowadays? But then again, ooh, that's gonna be kind of messed up because that means, hey, if you want your Sora to have the, the Kingdom Key Keyblade, you're gonna have to go ahead and buy KH1 Sora. So, ooh, you know, I can see them doing something like that. <laughs> that's pretty clever to get people to buy, you know, the old item back in the day over there. But I, I think Sora, you know, hmm, I feel like a lot, so, the Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora already got a bunch of good stuff. So, if anything, maybe I see like him having the Starlight Keyblade and maybe him having like a Keyblade transformation, like the t dual pistols. That I could possibly see, uh, see happening. Maybe we'll get another Palpu fruit, but this time it'll actually be bitten off. Other than that, I have, I, I can't really think of too many other things because, like I said, the Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora pretty much has kind of all the good stuff over here so you know who knows oh a gummy phone a gummy phone would be absolutely hilarious please let that be an accessory oh man I i'm gonna love it if they do that now one thing that i gotta say that i'm a little bit annoyed with and ah man they really did this over here so we went from kingdom hearts one figures to Kingdom Hearts 3 like what let's go you skipped Kingdom Hearts 2 and what really annoys me about it is that I was really crossing my fingers hoping that we would have got a Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie I don't know what's with Square Enix did whoever comes up with the plans for these figures they're so inconsistent like you know I was really hoping like this is it this could be it. a Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora a Kingdom Hearts 1 Riku and a Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie would have been perfect but now they're like it's, it's either always got to be Sora or Riku or Sora and Kyrie or Sora and Roxas it's, it's never like a consistent trio and that's so annoying over here like oh I was really hoping they would have done Kyrie just to complete the Trinity so far the only people that have really completed the Trinity I would say would be Funko Pops and Bring Arts like even back in the day like you would have these play arts kai figures right and it would be like oh sweet there's a play arts kai of uh riku and sora in kingdom hearts one oh and there's also play arts kai but it's kairi in her school outfit in kingdom hearts 2. where's the consistency you know what i'm saying so uh i'm hoping with the sora if we're lucky we'll get a trio but to be honest I i'm kind of doubting it however though if we're getting Sora, I think there's a possibility that we could be getting other characters. And now I say that mainly because, well, look at look at what we got before. We got Sora, we've got Riku, and we've got Mickey. Uh, the Good Smile Company is a little bit weird when it comes to things. Sometimes they'll only do just one main character from one main series, and it might just be Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. But seeing as how popular like Kingdom Hearts has become nowadays. I feel as though there's a chance that we could get another figure aside from just Sora. Now, if I had to place my predictions, I'm going to say it's going to be Kairi. It's going to be Kairi Riku. Mm, nope, highly doubt it. <laughs> the Sora and Riku, like, oh, where <laughs> <laughs> the Destiny Trio didn't even really exist in Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'm saying Kyrie mainly because Kyrie is pretty much the main focus going forward. Well, uh, she's getting developed a little bit more, but just because, like, I mean, you know, this game was heavy Sokai over here, and Good Smile Company loves to do things where, like, you know, if you buy this figure, we'll give you an extra hand that is holding on to the other figure so like if you buy the Kyrie, she'll have a hand holding on to Sora so if you have the Sora you know you can connect those two together good smile company um uh, nendroids are always used to doing stuff like that so I can totally see it I mean look at the title screen for Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind it was Sora and Kyrie. so honestly I really think if we are gonna get another figure it is going to be Kyrie. yo give your girl the spotlight over here but then you see what I mean I'm gonna be so annoyed because I'm like well I would really like a Riku one too look at me complaining about figs over here <laughs> let's see if i got nothing else better to do but i mean that is just something that i kind of noticed and it is a little bit annoying when you know they're always dealing with like you know trios when it comes to these characters and whatnot so if it isn't Kyrie that we don't get my next uh, guess is going to be roxas mainly because it's flipping Roxas. Roxas is like, you know, even back in the day, Roxas got more treatment than Kyrie did. And, you know, it was Kyrie. But I guess now that she's building a Keyblade, everyone's like, hey, look at your girl over here. So I don't know. I'm just saying, back in the day, Roxas, oh, that man got the Play Arts Kai. He got all the, the plushes. Yeah, there was so much Roxas stuff. And I feel as though Roxas has been slacking a little bit. I feel like Kyrie kind of took over that spot over here. I mean, heck, we got a Lee Funko Pop, but we never got a Roxas Funko Pop. Isn't that weird? Like, what? I mean, hey, we got that Kyrie Funko Pop. I ain't complaining over here, but I feel like 
And if they really want to like, you know, get a hitter over here, they're going to probably do Sora and they're probably going to do Roxas. And if they are going to do Roxas, I guarantee you they're going to give him his organization outfit. But then again, maybe not because now that I think about it, Riku, the Kingdom Hearts 1 version, has an Oblivion Keyblade. So what would you give Roxas? Are you going to give him the Oblivion Keyblade and the Oath Keeper or just the Oath Keeper? So, you know, I have questions over here, but those are kind of my ideas uh, when it comes to other characters. The only other possibility that it could be would maybe be a character like Aqua because Aqua also kind of gets the royal treatment now. She got, you know, 0.2. That was a while ago. But heck, she even got a Play Arts Kai because of it. Look at the Funko Pops. We got Aqua. Heck, we even got a, uh, I think it was Box Lunch exclusive Dark Aqua Funko Pop. So if they're to make another character from the Kingdom Hearts 3 series, it's either going to be number one, Kyrie number two Roxas or number three Aqua those are my guesses over here hey having you know a complete trio of Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Kyrie and Riku would be absolutely beautiful but I'm kind of highly I, I highly doubt it if they do it amazing spectacular superb but I kind of doubt it over here so I mean guys that is basically it for this video what else can I say other than the fact that yo we are finally moving into a time where we're kind of done with Kingdom Hearts 2 representation on like every single item out there in existence like you know coffee cups, blankets. Now nah, we are officially moving on to Kingdom Hearts 3 territory. Honestly, it, I, it's yo, it feels kind of weird. Rip Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora on literally every single Kingdom Hearts product out there in the world. It's getting replaced. It's getting replaced with Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. Oh man, those were some times. Yo, watch the day I see or Kingdom Hearts Restore Wallet is the day I know that Wow, we've officially moved on over here. So guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, A, Kingdom Hearts 3 Nendroid Sora. What do you think? What kind of accessories do you want him to come with? Do you think he'll be articulated or do you think he'll be more of a statue piece figure? And of course, if you could have any other Kingdom Hearts character from the Kingdom Hearts series become a Nendroid, who would you want it to be? So, you know, guys, I'll leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up as it helps me and the channel out quite immensely. You aren't already. You can follow me on my Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I am also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag12345, where I post all the good stuff. I have a Discord link will be in the description below. So go ahead and start a conversation, this and that. So until next time, my dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Yo, um, you gotta get the Nendroid Sora. I'm telling you right now. <laughs>